Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of DOM manipulation. In this session, we discuss about insert adjacent HTML method. Basically, the insert adjacent HTML method parses the specified text as HTML and inserts the resulting nodes into the DOM tree at a specified position. The best part of using this method is it doesn't reparse the element it is being used on and therefore it doesn't corrupt the existing elements inside the element. Let us see how insert adjacent HTML method works and why it is better than inner HTML method. I have HTML file and where I have the container div and I am accessing this container over here. You can see that and same way I have just a small CSS class applied border for this container. Now let us say we have HTML string constant str equal to so if we have a message like this message from span I mentioned. Now let us see how we can add this to the container using insert adjacent HTML method. So container dot so every HTML node will have this method. So container dot insert adjacent HTML method and it takes two parameters. One is the position and second one is the HTML string. And again there are four possible values for the position. And those four values are before begin, after begin, before end, after end. Now let us see how each one works. So first I am giving before begin and comma it takes the string as a parameter. So this HTML string we have provided here. Now let us save it and see the result here. You can see that message from span and when you use the before begin you can see it is added outside of the element and but it's added before the element itself like before the container element itself it is added and let us give some test here also let's say container now you can see that the message from span is being displayed before the container and it is not part of the element it is being used on the same thing you can see by going to the elements tab so let me Look quickly open like this and you can see that span is added before the due tag. And now let us use another position after begin. So when you use the after begin, you can see that it is added within the element. So now the span is within the container, but before its first child. So here the container text is the first child of the container because in HTML whenever you mention the string like this the HTML treat it as a text node. So now the container is the text node and nothing but a first child of the container. When you use the after begin the insert adjacent HTML method as the resultant HTML string before the first shell of the container. Now same thing you can see here. Now let us see how before end works. Before end. Save it and let's go and see here. So when you use the before end, the insert adjacent HTML will add the resultant HTML in the element itself. So now let's say I am going to add one more thing like container right so let's say i add span last element so now the last element is the last element of the this container because the container is so the here the container string has text node and here the span is the last child of this container div so now if you go and see you can see that it is added as the last child. So when you use the before end, it has the resultant HTML as the last element of the container. So here last element of container is nothing but the message from span only. Let us use the last position after end. Now save it 
and go see so when you provide the after end position you can see that the message from span is added after the element itself and it is not inside the element so these are the four possible values like before begin after begin before end after end and when you use the before begin it adds the resultant html before the element itself and when you use the after begin it adds the html just inside the element but before its first child and when you use the before end just inside the element after its last child and when you use the after end after the element itself it will add so before begin will works exactly opposite to the after end so now let us see how insert adjacent html is better than the inner html here for the last element span i give one id let's say span 1 let us access it here same way span 1 So now let me add one event to the span one using the add event listener. So let me comment out this and add here span one dot add event listener and let us listen to the click event of the span. Click and here the callback function goes and let us write alert click on last element okay let us save it let's go and run it you can see that when you click on the last element you can see the alert box click on last element now let us add this string html to this container using the inner html method container dot inner html so, so when you are concatenating the html string using in html method you should use the plus symbol and here str save it now let's go and see result you can see that container last element message from span and now let's try to click on the last element now you see when you click on it you don't see anything so when you click on it you don't see anything so when you add the html string using the inner html method it reparses this entire element and and we lost the event that we added using the add event listener so now let us add the the same now let us add the now let us add the html string using the insert adjacent html method and see how it works so now instead of after end i give after begin let's save it and go and see now you can see that message from span container last element and we click on the last element you can see that click event of the span still works now it didn't reparse the container element and it didn't disturb the click event that we are listening using the add event list so this is how insert adjacent html is better than in the html so hope you understood the concept so if you have any doubts please leave a comment in comment section thank you for watching please subscribe